<laughs> Mr. Ed here. Today is January 29th, 2021. I'm in Old Metairie. And when I say Old Metairie, it's because in Old Metairie, they're always doing renovations, construction, and that noise you hear, they're working on the house back here. This house right here, they're working on it. So in this one, they found bees and, and they contacted, not me, well, uh, they contacted Mike Barry who is another beekeeper and he's coming to do, remove the bees and he asked me to come help and you know if I'm there look who else is here good time Charlie that's right he, you know he's like a bad habit I can't get rid of that guy so he and I we're over here today to help Mike remove these bees and what's what I'm really interested in finding out is the development of the hive at this time of year now I know from you know, people that aren't down here in the south, if you're up north, um, you, you know, you're not even contemplating working on bees. But here, we're, we're fixing a bust open. We, we're, we're, all, we're already done our, our uh, rotations of our hives, yet we got that job done. And now we're, we're working in preparation for our splits. So what was interesting yesterday, when I was doing rotations yesterday, I came across for the first time on the, on the North Shore, which is from here, it's only 50 miles, but what separates us is this huge lake between the South Shore and the North Shore. And then on the South Shore, not even from here, it's not even two blocks. We have the Mississippi River. And then just about 20 miles south of that, we got the Gulf of Mexico. So the South Shore is always somewhat warmer than the North Shore. And for that very reason, the South Shore, when it comes to the bees, the development of the bees is almost two weeks, sometimes three weeks in advance of what we're experiencing on the North Shore. So it's, it's always interesting for me to see what's going on on the South Shore for me to anticipate what's going to go on on the North Shore. So yesterday, when I was on the North Shore doing rotations, I saw in the hive for the first time swarm cells. So I'm expecting, and we open up this wall right here, that we're going to see swarm cells in, in these hives. This hive, I already shot the flare on the inside with Mike, and it's, it's a good sized hive. And you can see, it's, right now it's probably about 48, 50 degrees right now, so the bees aren't flying. But this stained area on the brick right here, this is the entrance for the hive. Now you might think they would be in the soffit, but they're not. They're in the wall. And this little weep pole right there, that's the entrance for the bees. So we're going to go inside where Mike is. He's already set up. We're going to go in there, shoot the flare, show you where the bees are in the wall, open up the wall, and by the grace of God, in a couple hours we'll have these bees out of the wall in Mike's bee vac and headed up to the North Shore. Let's get inside and wrangle. So look who we got! Mike Barry, world famous Mike Barry. Mike and I have been knowing each other for over 10 years now. We are in the same B club, B club, River Region B Club. That's how I met Mike. And he was keeping bees like when, when I first started at the B Club, Mike was like years ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> he knew all about it. And, and I was like asking him all kinds of questions. And so today, tell us the story about the um, about this hive right here. How'd you find about it? Well, a common acquaintance of myself and Alex was um, cutting bees out of a house, and she got transferred to go be a management for an aquaponics farm. Uh -huh. So when she got transferred, she couldn't come get the bees. So she asked me if I could help him get the bees out. <laughs> so of course, I don't do bee cutouts by myself anymore. Well, though you do one a year. That's and one, one a year. year. One and you, year. And you wrote me into two. Well, I wrote you into two. <laughs> but one a year, and I didn't do one last year. So I called my faithful assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we found the bees. Right it's now, like, Mike's already opened up. He punched a hole, and I can actually see one bee inside of here right now. And, the and there it is, folks. You can see the beautiful red mark on the wall right there. Now I'm going to shoot the laser beam on the wall. And let's see if we, I don't know if the lights, there you go. Yeah, I'm moving where those lights are. That's these lights right in here that's where the beehive is it's a really nice a very nice size hive and like i said outside the development of this hive is is going to be very interesting to see all right let's open up the wall oh it's going to get exciting let's pull the um, 
Oops. You got it? Can you get it from over there? It's coming off pretty easy. I hear them. I They're see getting them. excited. Now we don't have any smoke, so you know these bees are going to come out hot. Yeah, they're coming out hot. And I'm pulling comb off because I think it's going to take both of us to hold this mic. Wow. Already? Yeah, I got We have a again. sting already? I smell that banana smell too. They're not happy. No, they're not. Uh, we need some. Alright, wait a minute. We got the. Alright, let's get this. Beautiful slabs. That is go. a massive hive. Got Hold it. it up above your head, Jack. Let's show the cameras. There we go. There. Against the other hive, there we are. Look at that, Mike. We got swarm cells development. Is that it? Yep. There's a cup right there. Yeah, hey, let's go down with it because okay. they're on my face. Alright, go down. They're trying we to can vacuum this stuff. Up. Yeah. Man. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Slabs of comb. This is this is amazing. Now look at this. Look at this right here. Let's see if I can get it in there. I mean, these are, they've got cups already forming. You can see this one right here. And those are just, I mean, that looks old, but I'm, I'm really kind of expecting to see more. Look at this. We got drone cells already. We got brood. Worker brood right here. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, <coughs> but there's nectar all up in there right now. There's capped honey up the top, and brand new nectar coming in. Really good, and, and I can see right here we have uncapped, we have uncapped brood right there. So our queen is laying right now, and man, these are some nice gentle bees. All right, let's go ahead and start vacuuming bees and pulling comb. Now this is a slab that we took off the wall Got the bees on it, a little bit of comb. Healthy, healthy looking bees. Really nice. Whew, this is exciting. That, is a, that looks like a pretty new, yeah, that's a, being a new developed cell right there. So there's, there's all kind of stuff going on with this hive.
Now, this is, this is really interesting. You know already that my biggest, my favorite type of comb is this slab comb. And they build a sheet of wax like this to fill the whole space instead of small pieces or wide pieces. But I want to point out a couple of things on this piece. This isn't yet. So you can, you can see in this area of the comb right here, that glistening, all this brand new nectar. Brand new. Now, as I'm cutting through that comb, this old honeycomb up here, it's like thick as molasses. I'm telling you, it's everything I can do to cut through this comb. It's so old and that, that honey is so thick. It's like, it's like 120 weight oil. This stuff is so thick. You don't even see it dripping. And it's just hanging there. That's how thick this stuff is. Now, as you move over here, you can see brand new pollen. This is all brand new pollen. In this area right here, we have cat brood in this area right here and then to the outside of that then you can see the uncapped brood and I'm, I'm looking I want to see if I can see eggs in there I don't I didn't see any in mine but I know they're there I can't I really can't see if I there's got to be eggs in there I just don't see them so we're gonna go ahead and vacuum a few more of these bees up and we're gonna cut out this beautiful slab of comb Look at this, a whole slab of honey. I'm gonna take this whole sheet out right now <laughs> and hopefully it'll come out. It's so old I think it's gonna come out just in one sheet. We're just gonna put this whole slab of honey into one of Mike's totes. Let's do it's this. It's right behind you, Jeff. All right. Um, and when it comes, it's, see what, we can even put it on. Look how thick. Look how thick that is. All right, it's a coming out. We're already up. Here you go, Al. Thanks. That's at least two inches thick. Oh my God. That's gonna weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's huge. You're gonna, get a, you're gonna get a video of that. Hold on to it, Jeff. Okay. Look at that sheet of honey. I bet that's 40 pounds of honey. Oh, it's more than 40 it's pounds. 40 just breathing hard. <laughs> There's more where that Where's from. the rooster when we need him to pump some honey? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. Hey, here we go. Just, there. Now that we got it up. Oh, that ain't coming off. Hold on. Let's put on it. Watch your fingers. Oh, that's some tough stuff. Still going on the other side of the wall. Yeah, it's it's there. We go. Let me get that out of there. Thank you. Thank you for that. I don't want that in there. Wow. There it is. Wow, that's some honey. Let's cut this off. 
Oh man, that's some tough comb. Good gracious. This hive has been here for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's an old hive. Well, uh, there we go. Yeah, most of that off. I can melt that out. Now you can pick it up and find out how heavy it really is. Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to get and shoot our honey robber, our honey bandit, underneath the comb in here because we know our queen is up in here. So we're going to push the bees. I've already sprayed it on the outside so they won't run out. We've already sprayed it to the right. They won't run that way. So the only way if I spray it down here, they're going to come out to the top. Mike's going to be up there with the cage, flashlight, vacuum cleaner. And we'll see if we can get them that way. So let's see how that works out. Jesus, man, look, we knew that honey robber was going to do the trick, and it sure did. So we're going to go ahead and, and finish backing these bees up and get out of his It's place. all downhill from here. Oh, yeah, it's easy all pace. over. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> well, can you believe it? It ain't there no more. Thank goodness. It's uh, this. It's so dark in this room right here. Now Charlie's trying to put light on me so long. I really look like a ghost, huh? <laughs> so we're going to get outside and show you some of the, the, the wax, maybe even the bees. But, uh... All I know is it ain't there no more, and we got the bees, we got the queen, we got the comb. Let's get outside and wrap this thing up. So here's the bees that we vacuumed up, and can you guess what's inside of here? Yeah, we got our queen going. There really weren't a lot of bees. I'm figuring, you know, somewhere eight, 
10,000 bees. I know they're not, you can see a little big cluster of them right here. A little big, how you like that? A cluster right here, and they're going across here. And I think Mike only framed up two frames of brood. That's it. That's all we got. And, and really, that's just all you really need. This comb is so old and nasty, it's going to have to put some other comb in there, but that'll be the new beekeepers. That'll be his project. That looks all really good. Yeah. And then let me show you what we got for some of the comb that we took out of there. And it's it, it's it's not pretty. Here's this is all honey. All of this. Nothing but honey. Uh, my guess, let me see, let's pick it up and see. Uh, 20, 20 pounds of honey in there. But this is the one that really has the honey in it. This one right here. And yes. it's just gross. <laughs> it's just gross. So Mike's gonna chop the wax up because it's so hard. He's just gonna chop it up and get that honey to, to flow out of that, the cap, let it drain out, and then he'll render all this wax. That's the real prize with this hive. We save the bees, but Mike's gonna get a bunch of, of wax to um, put on his bee frames on, on the foundation. Yep. So that's the good part. And then was there uh, another? There's another one under that brood box. That is the one that had some of that good comb. Oh yeah. And then this comb, this box right here. Put it right there on top. I'm gonna have to put it there anyway. You got it. Oops. <laughs> good Jeff's trying to, hands. He's trying to do away with the queen. <laughs> this box, it's got just a bunch of comb in it. That there's there's a little bit of wax in here, but um, some of this stuff, and you can see some of the nectar. But I mean, some beautiful slabs. Oh, and wow, y'all kept the white comb? Yeah, and this this is this is some really, so the new honey right here, Mike says he's going to eat this. No, that's going. He's going there. Uh, he ain't eating none uh, of it, he I'm says. Out. So that was all the comb, bees, honey, and everything. All right. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that, that this one's over with. It, it, it wasn't a, the ideal location as far as the lighting goes in there and it was kind of funky in there and the bees were funky and charlie's funky mike's funky we're all funky Everything. now Every, but the bees are good all that stuff is good and, and in the end i think it's going to turn out all right what do you think mike hey it wasn't ideal but you know what it's done i think they'll be fine we'll nurture them. Oh, yeah. we'll nurture them it, the time of year is perfect for for the bees to come out of their the winter mode into the spring mode i mean you saw all the nectar right. in there they're bringing in so these guys they want to work and uh they're gonna work what yeah. about you charlie come on oh I how many stings you took one i how took many, one sting how one long did it take us to do the job two hours two yeah. hours i think it was no two hours just two. to remove the honey <laughs> two yeah. hours the honey was the, the, the honey was yeah and th it was it was uh, another epic adventure getting that queen running the queen out of the comb you know I, I do like doing that and Mike and I saw I mean at the same time we saw her run out of there and I was just had my glove off so I just reached up and grabbed her so that's all we got for you this one thanks for watching keep on watching he'll be making more God bless Mr. Ed Charlie Mike we're out here until next video <laughs>